eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells and welcome to another Money Making Monday. If you are new to this format, these sales were posted on my Facebook group over a period of several weeks. We have a weekly thread called Money Making Monday where sellers post what they found, where they found it, how much they paid for it, and show the actual sale so these are real sales by real sellers just like you and I have moved towards themed Money Making Monday videos. There's some on health and beauty, vintage items, hundred dollar items so that the items are more categorized but this is the random stuff edition because these items really wouldn't fit in any kind of category but they are still interesting and you might find them out there. So let's get started. Marie sold these granny panties for 70 bucks. <laughs> she said these came from my mother-in-law's stash of beautiful lingerie. When I checked the solds, I was astounded by the prices. Sold within one hour of listing for best offer of $59.99. Okay, we've got KC, who was usually one of the stars of the $100 item video. He sells other stuff too. So here he's got a conch shell. He paid $5 for a crate of these, seven total, at a garage sale. Sold this for $25 plus shipping in a couple of days. And this is your basic queen conch shell. Really pretty item, probably used for display or home decor in a beach house or whatever. So those of you that have these laying around, guess what? You can sell that too. Okay, Mark says that empty boxes sell and yes they do. There's several of them in this video. He bought this case a few years ago. The case is long gone but the empty box sold for $12 plus $5 shipping and this is an iPhone case box. It's not even for the phone it's for the case for the phone. So you've got these things laying around you can definitely sell empty boxes. People want them for all kinds of reasons. Sometimes the resellers of phones and phone accessories will buy the boxes because it's whether they're going to ship the item in the box or resell it with the box. It has a higher resale value if it has the original box with it. So that's probably what's going on here. Okay, Diana paid $10 at an estate sale took best offer of $45 plus shipping after one and a half months. This is a medical item. It is a automatic pill dispenser. Sandy purchased this item at Goodwill for $3.57, listed for a little over a week, sold on sale for $47.99. This is a DVD set. It's called The Red Green Show, seasons 94 through 96 and is a boxed set. This program was on PBS. So look through those DVD sets. Um, when I'm outsourcing, normally I don't even look at the DVDs just because th then I get all caught up about, oh, I never saw that movie. I want to see that. And I start buying stuff for myself. But um, the box sets can do really well, especially if it's kind of an obscure, not super popular one that wasn't mass produced, like Grey's Anatomy, you know, season one. I see that all the time. Or some of these other TV shows that were really popular and the DVDs were mass produced. Something like this from PBS might not be as plentiful and remember scarcity creates value so the less there is of something the more it's going to sell for and here we have what is kind of the cover photo on this edition is Kool-Aid. Amber bought these for 10 cents a pack on sale at our local grocery store. Made about four dollars profit after shipping. Took about a month to sell. Not a huge profit but a decent filler item and super easy. Kool-Aid. Just Kool-Aid packets 10 of them and I included this not because it's a super high profit item but to get you thinking of when you see things on clearance at the grocery store check that out because you never know if it is a discontinu uh, discontinued flavor version color whatever it is 
and there's a buyer for everything and I spent probably three years selling groceries on Amazon so I'm here to tell you that there is profit in this stuff okay joy my sales haven't been slow lately but seems like all my little items are the ones selling my kids don't care about the toys usually profit from these will be about four dollars buy one get one happy meals at least they aren't in the landfill sold in a couple of days and the item is a lot of two McDonald's happy meal toy story number four uh, characters and somebody said in the comments that the moms on mom boards are going nuts for these when you put them all together they make the RV from the movie and Joy did not know that so those of you moms out there that have a whole bunch of these Happy Meal toys check that out because sometimes they are highly coveted and you can sell them whether it's a lot or individually or whatever and yeah it's not a, a huge profit item but it's just another thing you can sell that you already have especially if you have little kids and you're accumulating these toys okay ginger sold this Honda service manual for 60 bucks it was her husband's and she's talked about this before and in the seller success interview she talked about selling all kinds of Honda related items because her husband knows that niche sold for full asking price of 60 bucks and it was free to her so service manuals are great sellers Kelly bought this as part of a fill a bag for five dollars at an estate sale so it cost her about 11 cents listed it for 65 dollars sold on best offer for $60 in 21 minutes so somebody probably had an alert set up for this and it's a miniature now what is a miniature it could be it goes in a dollhouse or we used to have these what's called shadow boxes where it's like a wooden box with a bunch of little compartments and it's flat and you hang it on the wall and you put all kind of little thingies in it I used to do that back in my 20s I had a shadow box collection of all these little things that were cute and you put in there like a little tiny coffee maker or a little tiny quilt or all kind of things like that so not sure if this goes to a dollhouse or if it's just a little miniature thing that would have gone in a shadow box or what it was for it really doesn't matter it sold for sixty dollars in 20 minutes it cost her 11 cents so even the little bitty things matter Michelle paid a dollar for these Barbie clothes that sold in one day on best offer for $25. And they are vintage 1986 fancy frills lingerie for Barbie. So Barbie clothes, $25. Andrew said this was an empty box, but heard on a YouTube channel Apple empty boxes have value. This sold the same day I posted it. It was 99 cents at Goodwill and he sold it for $15 so if you've got these kind of boxes laying around your house if you're a pack rat and you keep them you might want to consider selling those Tina says it was a slow week bought this for 53 cents this is the last of four I have sold it took six weeks and it is a light bulb called Ot light vision saver 13 watt plug-in swirl bulb and it sold for $18.95 so if you see those bags of items like the clear bags that have all the miscellaneous items in them I've seen them with these specialty light bulbs in there you can kind of figure out what that's worth and if it's worth buying the whole bag to part out the stuff but these specialty light bulbs can be hard to find in stores so people go online to look for them especially if they're a vintage item and they don't even make them anymore so keep your eyes out for that Christina five dollars at a garage sale sold for full asking price in three weeks and this is another service manual but this is a Harley Davidson 1997 Harley touring FLT model service repair shop manual guidebook so just reinforcing that the auto and motorcycle service manuals sell for great prices here we have another empty box maybe I should do a 
Money Making Monday edition of all empty boxes. <laughs> But that sounds kind of boring to watch. Um, rule of thumb is check any empty box. But Max sold this Louis Vuitton box for her mother-in-law. Took about a month and a half and sold for $47.99 plus shipping for a box. And here's more proof of that. Carrie sold her iPhone box for $15. She listed it for $22.99, took a best offer of $15. This was just a box she had lying around and it's got a cool image of looks like the earth with like a watercolor swirl pattern on it. But another empty box for 50 bucks. Now here's an interesting one. Carrie said she finally discovered this decon mouse poison in her garage listed at $75 after 400 plus views knocked the price down to $45 and tweaked the listing a little. Sold last night for full price plus shipping. Love to treasure hunt but selling my own clutter is a bit more satisfying because I accomplished two goals money and declutter. So this was a decon ready mixed bait pellets and bits and it was even used. Well, it looks like the box was just open, but it wasn't. Yeah, it was used. One pack is missing because on the box there it says four ready to use packs, but there's only three shown. So this was even opened and it's still sold for $45. And it is a uh, rat killer, basically. And yeah, you can sell that. Um, some of you are confused about hazmat and what you can and can't sell on eBay first thing to do is just Google that um, eBay restricted items and you can go see what you are and are not allowed to sell and also how to ship it you can Google USPS shipping restrictions hazmat list those kinds of things some of you are under the impression that because it's a liquid it has to go parcel select it has to go ground and that's not true if it's hazmat it has to go ground and if it's even allowed to be shipped which most things on the hazmat list of USPS we are not going to sell it's like industrial products it's chemicals you would never have but things like um, fragrances that's the main thing for resellers to be concerned with is fragrances have to be shipped ground but just because it's a liquid doesn't mean that you can't it can't go first class or priority um, sometimes the if you're filling out the form of you know what is this item and it asks what is it and you just have to say if it's a liquid doesn't mean you can't ship it they just want to know what's in it that's all so bottom line just check the USPS hazmat list to see if the item has to go ground but just because it's a liquid does not mean it has to go ground I shipped some shampoo the other day priority got there perfectly fine it was not a problem so just be aware of that okay moving on we've got Kirsten free to her these are old CDs of hers sold for $69 took about 10 days and it's a lot of 130 CDs, gospel hymns, religious, Christian choir, black gospel, wow, and kids. Oh, wow must be the brand. Okay, so she just gathered up a bunch of CDs, put them together by genre, which is uh, basically religious, and sold them for 60 bucks. That works. This is a pretty cool item that Stephanie found. She paid a dollar for this hand-painted needlepoint pattern. Now it looks to me that this is not completed, it's just the pattern. So someone is going to go back over this with the actual yarn and do the needlepoint. This is what you call stamped or painted uh, pattern. When you're doing needlework, you can either do it on a completely blank piece of fabric or sometimes the kits will have the pattern stamped on there like a machine stamped it or it could be hand painted like this so this is it's it's like the guide of what the person who's doing the actual needle craft is going to follow and so it wasn't even completed is my point wow I took five minutes to say that sorry um, $82 for this piece of fabric that 
was painted for needlepoint and some whoever bought it is going to either do the needlepoint on top of that or maybe they'll just display it the way it is they might just hang it up just like that you never know but um, sold in one hour so this is what eBay is all about right here pay a dollar for something list it in an hour you have 83 bucks if that doesn't motivate you to get your stuff listed then I just am out of ideas <laughs> Okay, Janine found these baby clothing hangers at Goodwill for $3. Took close to a year to sell at asking price of $35. So this is like the opposite of what we just saw back here with Stephanie and her one hour sale. We've got something that took a year, but that's okay. Some things will take a year to sell and that's just the way it is. These are Ralph Lauren vintage wooden hangers, layette meaning for babies. $35 for some hangers so that's a cool thing to look for I didn't realize that those had any value and now we do okay here's another fun item Leah found these Scentsy wax bars paid two dollars for this lot of 24 of them and they sold for $72 so that looks really easy to ship because these go in a little warmer that uh, they're like wax cubes I guess and uh, they go in a little warmer and they melt and the scent comes out and that's one of those MLMs that you can only buy the items from a distributor to my knowledge unless it's in stores now I'm not up on this but it's like Pampered Chef or Mary Kay or Avon those kind of things where you buy through a distributor and so these can be hard to find hence putting them on eBay so two dollars sold for seventy two dollars and how easy to ship is that okay Jamie paid two dollars and fifty cents at a yard sale sold in one month just one state over so shipping was only eight dollars and this is a funky exercise thing it's a Zumba riser step workout accessory I guess you put it on the floor and you step on it kind of like step aerobics was two dollars and fifty cents and it sold for forty bucks in a month so if you're not averse to shipping bigger items that exercise stuff can be lucrative all right Melissa personal item of her husband so paid nothing took a few months to sell but sold for forty eight dollars and this is a mixed lot of forty seven vintage Boy Scout of America patches from the 70s to the 90s or 70s and the 90s 48 bucks and they were free and probably weighed nothing to ship them all right this is a really creative one Laura free to me sold in less than 24 hours of posting this is a new with tag Disney store Aladdin key live action movie limited release collectible so it's it's a little promotional item it looks like from the movie Aladdin and um, you know Disney is just so collectible it's really hard to keep up with what people want but this was just a little thing she had and she sold it for $45 so you can see there in the picture it's just a key with a little tag attached uh, $2.66 shipping so pretty lightweight whatever it is is pretty small but she picked up 45 bucks okay Sandy had me laughing on this one she says two pleasant company American girl dolls given to me for free because they were in rough condition I listed one in terrible condition and the other as poor condition and put them both on seven-day auction with starting bids of $9.99 the one in poor condition sold for 1907 plus shipping the one in terrible condition <laughs> sold for sixty eight dollars and fifty three cents so if you look at her title it says Pleasant Company Samantha Wide Body American Girl Doll Retired Terrible Condition all in all caps <laughs> so nobody can be confused that um, this poor doll baby's had it rough and she's she's in terrible condition but she still sold for almost seventy dollars so that just goes to show you, um, you look everything up and in case you're not aware American girl dolls some people buy dolls just like this and they 
sell the parts. So they might take her arms and legs off and sell everything separately. Or there's also an American Girl doll hospital that you can send your items to, your dolls, and they fix them all up for a price, of course. But that might be what people are doing when they buy these um, rather torn up, terrible condition dolls, is they're going to part it out or they're going to send it to the doll hospital and get it remade basically so that it looks a whole lot better. So just an FYI on that and any American Girl doll collectors or experts please comment. Um, I am not an expert in that at all. I've just talked to a lot of people that do it and that's what I've learned from them. Okay we've got Ginger who bought these in a bag for ten dollars at an estate sale that had linen fabric which she's already sold for thirty dollars embroidery floss which sold for seven dollars and now this for forty eight so she's telling us that all the stuff in the bag is selling so my ten dollar investment sold for eighty five dollars and this is a lot of thirty one skeins of basically uh, sewing floss thread embroidery thread something like that and that sold for $48 on its own so she bought a big bag of all kinds of sewing and needlework stuff sorted it out created several different listings based on what the items were and her $10 investment turned around $85 in sales so that's how you do it Okay, Anissa found a bag of nine of these at an estate sale, paid 50 cents each, sold two within a week of listing for list price of $19.99 each plus shipping. This is Mr. Clean Auto Dry Car Wash Refill Filter. So it's a thing for, I guess, doing a car wash at home. Auto Dry Car Wash Refill Filter. Anyway, it's a car wash thingy. That's why this is called the random item edition because some of these things, I don't even know what they are. <laughs> um, but she found a bag of nine, paid 50 cents each, and here's one that sold for 40 bucks. Here we have another sort of consumer item. Jen, she is new with this. Well, congratulations, Jen, because you did just fine. I just had sale number 20. This eBay experience is exciting. Yes, it is. And even when you've been doing it like 20 years, it's exciting. Paid $6 for both at Goodwill. Sold them both. Full asking price of $23. So total $46. And it's off power pad mosquito repellent lamp three pack refills. Okay, a few things to say here. Um, number one is this video is airing in August of 2019 and we're gonna start seeing the summer stuff going on clearance in all kinds of stores Walmart Target grocery stores drug stores and this is the time if it's cheap enough that you would pick this kind of thing up and sell it because some people use these things all year not just during summer if you are in the southern United States along the coast where there's mosquitoes around you're going to use this thing all year if you are entertaining outside or you just like to sit on your deck or whatever um, because it's still warm here and we still have mosquitoes especially if you're around water so you know keep your eye out for those kinds of things when uh, if it's a refill product because this is like the ink to a printer um, manufacturers make their money on refills of things so you buy the printer once but you put ink in it for 10 years so this is the kind of thing that may be hard to find locally but people will order them online so this kind of thing that does not go in the body or on the body is not going to expire and it's easy to ship it's in a little box and it's easy to store so just keep that in mind as you are out in public at regular retail stores and you see things like this on clearance. Um, now when you check the prices they're not going to be super high because we're still in summer so you may see the prices go up later in the year when the supply 
is lower because remember scarcity creates value. Okay, Suzanne Keen paid $1.99 for these eyeglasses at a thrift store while on a trip to move my daughter. Listed last week and sold for $49.99 plus shipping within a few days. Brooks Brothers RX eyeglasses frames. So yes, used eyeglasses still sell and you sell them for the frames. Maria paid a dollar at Goodwill, listed it before I even got home, sold in less than five minutes. Pink Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus Silver Edition Graphing Calculator. And I'll bet you anything it sold so fast because of the color, because that's kind of an unusual color. Most of them are black or blue or gray, and finding a pink one will get you a fast sale, probably at a higher price. So this was a dollar, and it sold for $51.99, listed it, before I even got home, sold less than five minutes. Perfect. Okay, Rebecca used to work in the music industry and toured with a lot of musicians. When I wasn't working and would go to a concert, the artists or their techs would hand me fistfuls of guitar picks when I was watching the show on stage. I had boxes full. I started listing them last year. I'm down to my last couple of picks now but they still sell here and there so free to me sold after about a year for full price so who would think a guitar pick would sell for 20 bucks but that's what she had and this is kind of a bloom where you're planted kind of thing she's making money with stuff that she has and who knew Okay, and then we've got Kay, who bought this cross-stitch kit at Goodwill for $1.75. Completed it myself. Took three months to sell for best offer of $30. Now that is going the extra mile, where you find a cross-stitch kit and you work it, and then you sell the completed products. So that's somebody who loves to do cross-stitch and who just enjoys that. And she sold it for $65. And Linda commented, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I just picked up a few unfinished needlepoint pieces at a dollar each. One of them has the background half finished. The needle was threaded and just waiting for the next stitch. One hour and a few rows later, I realized I guess I'm finishing this one. So, hey, if you like to do needlework and you want to finish those kits that you find, you're going to get more money for them. But good for you. That's, that's the beauty of eBay is you can do it any way you want to. So I hope that you have learned something from this random stuff edition. Keep posting your sales on Money Making Monday and I will keep making these videos so we can all learn from each other. I would love your comments below and if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up so I'll know. Thanks so much for watching and have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye!